the way I really just sat here to set this camera up and my camera is on what 4% is crazy. Welcome back to another vlog. I wanted to go ahead and kick off another vlog because I just finished editing my last vlog. It has been giving me a run for my money. It's been so long since I've had like upload issues or gotten copyrighted or anything like that. I got copyrighted or copywritten whatever the term is for some background music. I was at the shoe store and it was some Post Malone playing and I got copyrighted. I thought my clip was short enough but I guess it wasn't and that really annoyed me being that I used so much new like music from SoundCloud that I never used before in this vlog and none of that got copyrighted but the freaking shoe store music got me copyrighted for like the smallest clip it really pissed me off also i'm not used to the file size of this camera because it's in 4k so it takes longer to do everything so this is my third time exporting it so hopefully i don't have no more issues i tried to edit it down as much as possible today's sunday hopefully that vlog will go up today and yeah me and the girls just got back from getting me coffee because i have the world's biggest migraine right now i didn't have coffee yesterday nor have i had coffee before now and it's, it's already what 2 30 almost i had a migraine all day yesterday and a migraine as soon as i woke up this morning i already knew i was gonna have to get coffee today i just wanted to go ahead and start the vlog because i didn't get to do a formal intro i'm quit running my mouth i have a couple things to do later that i'll probably do with y'all um but yeah i just wanted to go ahead and start a new vlog for this week gonna close in a minute but I had to come in the store because I placed a pickup order 
but they canceled one of my items and it's one of the items that I really wanted so here we are it's just this <laughs> cottage cheese and I know you have to like go away um, this is the one time I'm gonna give y'all permission to judge me but if you've been on TikTok and you heard of the Tiffany plate then you already know what I'm doing but it's like this lady who eats raw vegetables with cottage cheese and mustard <laughs> I can't even say it because I know it sounds so nasty. My sister be like, that is so gross. And every time the girls see me eating it, they like gag. <laughs> but y'all, it's one of those things where when I first tried it, I was like, okay, this is what is going on. But then I ate it again and I was like, wait, hey, this low key. <laughs> anyway, definitely an acquired taste. Definitely not something a normal person would want to eat. But let me tell you something. It keeps me so full for like a month straight. I was eating it for lunch at work. I would just buy like one of those veggie platters, like one of those, and I would just leave it in the fridge at work and just eat my vegetables and a sausage and cottage cheese and mustard. And it was actually keeping me full, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna buy this. And then I gotta get my pickup order, so. Dang, this line is long. I don't know why they don't got more than one register open. <sighs> Y'all, I'm just getting home from work and I'm sitting here trying to re-glue down some of my track. The back part of my hair is a quick weave, so the tracks are just glued onto the cap. She wasn't doing it how my actual like real stylists do. Whenever I get a like a quick weave from her, which most of my installs do be quick weaves because that just be what I have time for. Um, she always uses the blow dryer, like, to glue my tracks down. So she'll glue a track, and then she'll put heat on it directly. This stylist wasn't doing that, um, and so I kind of already have some tracks that are lifting. None of them are, like, off, but two of them are coming up. I have this hair glue, and I'm about to go ahead and re-glue them. My nails look a mess, like, y'all. We're not even gonna get into the frenzy of how I get when I look a mess. We're not gonna do that this time. No, we're not. I'm gonna call and make me a nail appointment tomorrow. It's not gonna be for tomorrow, but I'm gonna call and schedule that tomorrow because today was very much a Monday, but that's okay. Okay, I'm back. I threw in a t-shirt because my armpits are hairy and I don't need y'all. <laughs> I don't need y'all talking about me. So, can y'all see that? Hello? This? Anyway, so this is the other one. Like, that's the whole like track right there in the middle of my head that is levitating. So yeah, we're gonna need to fix that. So I'm gonna do that one first. I felt it around and I just feel no more doing that, but I'm gonna just pack this glue with me. Yeah, because this whole thing, like if I just tug it, it's gonna come off. So yeah, stuff like this really makes me wanna be like, I'm gonna just take out the whole style. But y'all, I might be going out of town this weekend and I really don't have time for that. I know I'm not gonna get my hair done in time for that. So I'm just gonna make this do what it do, but I do think this is gonna maybe get like another week or two out of me. Oh my God, y'all, I don't think my glue has anything in it. It's dry. Hold on, let's see if we can save some of this because I really wanna glue this down. This is the glue I would be using for my lashes when I was wearing strips. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. Like this glue is literally like gummy. This is so gross. I don't know what. I'm getting this everywhere. Oh my god, if I drop one more thing. I have glue all over my hands right now, and I definitely put some glue where glue should not have been. Y'all, I don't I don't think I glued that back in properly, but we're gonna see. I'm low-key already over this style, y'all. Like, as much as I'm trying to convince myself that I, like, want to keep it for a long time, I don't. Like, I feel like I don't like the hair. I don't like how the braids are sitting on top of the hair. I definitely wish I could have gotten a more textured hair, like a curly hair. You know, like a bigger curlier hair because the braids would have kind of, like, I could have tucked them into the hair. These braids are just kind of, like, sitting on top of the hair. I would definitely run this style back for, like, vacation where I know I'm going to just have it for a quick one, too. With some, like, cute water wave type hair. But it's just not what I wanted. The style is cute, but it's just not what I want for a long time. I really want to find something to watch. Um, oh, there's a documentary that I really want to watch. I think it's a documentary on hulu about brooke brooke shields i think that's her name the 
girl now woman who was basically idolized and sexualized from like a very young age she was in playboy when she was like 14 or 15 years old i came across her story on tiktok i know like everybody probably knows who brooke shields is um but i thought it would be really interesting to watch her documentary and kind of learn a little bit more about her because i didn't really realize how young she was when she was doing all of her like photo shoots and her movies and literally being in Playboy at 15 is crazy. There was a snippet on TikTok showing all of the interviews that she's been in and you could just tell how the men would be talking to her that it was giving very much so like I can't say it on here probably but them vibes. Very creeper vibes so I think that'll be something good for me to watch tonight because I'm trying to be like on TikTok less and just on social media less me and my sister watched crying on set well we kind of did she ended up falling asleep so i don't know if she finished it but i watched it pretty much through the end i think i maybe had like a few minutes left in the last episode so i might go and finish that but i'm also the type of person that like if i get the gist of something i just won't finish watching it i think i might sit here and edit some content really quick and maybe put on something to watch the girls are doing god knows what and then we're gonna do like homework Zara has homework every week and we usually be waiting until like Thursday or hell even Friday morning to do it because here lately I just have not not been on my zoom at all so if I don't end up editing what I will do is sit here and fill up my planner and my calendar for the next month for a minute there I was just surviving the days so now that I kind of feel like I can breathe a little bit you know I got a little bit of sunlight got a little life in me I kind of want to write in my planner so maybe that's what I'll do instead There, you say you don't have homework? No, I do. I mean, I don't. Let me see. Why can't I just write them floating? Because that's not how writing works. You have to stay in the line. So you're going to have to size these letters down. They're too big. So I write that ten times. Mm hmm So that's just one. This time you're actually paying attention to me. You want me to watch you do your homework more instead of just telling you to do it? Yeah. Okay. Mommy didn't know. I will. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now your next word is have. That's hard. Try to spell it. Love you. Love you. Love you. 
Y'all look who came to visit me and Mila at her practice. The one and only. My dad came and is chilling in the car with us as we watch Mila do her soccer practice. And we've just been chilling. He's never on my vlog, so here's proof that I have a dad. This is what he looked like, in case y'all forgot. He looked like me. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Mila's probably going to have to miss her soccer game because I thought she was going to have another one on Thursday to make up the one that she didn't have last Thursday. But unfortunately, they are not having a game on Thursday and we are very likely going to be out of town on Saturday. So I tried to show y'all a little clip of Mila. I don't know if you guys will be able to see her because I was trying to zoom in, but this camera don't zoom as far as my other camera used to. So I don't know if y'all saw her or not, but she's doing really good at practice. And like I said, she's going to have to go to practice this week. And then next week, she'll go to her practice and then go to her game. But we've been getting rained out every game. So it just so happened that the one day that it's not supposed to rain for her game, we're going to be out of town. So you already know Easter is this weekend. So that's what we're going to be out of town for. Hello. It's seven two eight five. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Mila's done with her practice, and now we're about to go get some dinner. I just picked up our Tiger order for their lunch tomorrow. I'll try to take us to Chili's. We try to go to Chili's, but they had a 20 minute wait, and the girls really need to hurry up and eat so that we can get home and they can do their night routine. So we're actually about to just go eat at Kane's. We don't really go inside, so we're just gonna go eat inside. freaking tired what time is it it's 9 53 so basically 10 o'clock and we just got back home maybe an hour ago did the girls nighttime routine super quick <sighs> yeah right now i am taping together zara's easter eggs they have to turn them in by thursday and i've had them since monday but i didn't have any tape so i got some tape from work instead of buying tape and now i'm taping them together we have to number them one through 20 and thankfully Zara has the same teacher as Mila so I remember doing this when Mila was in kindergarten basically each kid gets assigned a number and they hunt for the, that specific number so each kid in theory should get the same amount of eggs instead of it just being like a free-for-all like a normal egg hunt so anyway I'm gonna take these clothes and then I'm about to go to bed I was gonna fix Zara's lunch tonight but she's just having like a makeshift lunchable she's gonna have like pepperonis and cheese cubes I think I should tape both sides um she, yeah she's gonna have pepperonis and cheese cubes and strawberries and yeah that sort of a vibe today she has little smokies and cheese cubes she loves cheese both of the girls love cheese and what else does she have I gave her some popcorn I kind of gave her all the little snacks that she likes to eat so she had sort of like a random lunch today but yeah i did a target order and i'm supposed to be putting in a grocery order tonight so i need to do that too but i'll probably lay in bed and do that we halfway through the week and we still <laughs> we still in grocery shop but that's how life has been going my sister's had a lot to do this week my nephew's getting ready to start daycare so she has to make sure he's all caught up with like his <sighs> doctor's appointments and then obviously if he, she's taking him then she's taking my niece probably because she's got doctor's appointments and dentist appointments and everybody's just been super busy so i still have to shop for their easter baskets um i'm definitely behind on that so me and my sister might be going to do that together but we'll see i was super happy to spend some time with my dad today and i told him i was like he never wants to be on the vlog so i was happy that he agreed he ne well, I shouldn't say he doesn't want to be. He just be like, I can't be on YouTube because of whatever reason. So 
I told him, I was like, Dad, if something happens to one of us, I would like to have memories of you, like, in, you know, video form. But yeah, got to spend some time with my dad, got to spend some time with the girls, and I was talking to my dad about how I don't know how I'm going to manage Zara being an extracurricular activity because I'm barely existing right now, and it's not fair that Mila keeps getting to do soccer and she's not doing nothing. Granted, I'm putting them both in swim for the summer, but she hasn't done anything that's just for her and i really want to put her in gymnastics but i don't know i don't know i gotta find a way for it to fit our schedule because i need a day a day of downtime and i i, I don't know i think it just might have to come at the expense of me being tired because yeah <laughs> yeah y'all a day in the life of a single mom the work never stops as I'm sitting here taping X closed. <laughs> this is just motherhood. This is not even just single motherhood. I feel like all of the moms do a lot of work. Not to shade the dads, but being a mom is a full time job. I was just on the ride home thinking about how blessed and lucky I am to have a dad to ask for like fatherly advice because I know that's not something that everybody has but I was just thinking about like how I try not to show my dresser because it'd be looking crazy it has all of our like daily hygiene stuff on there but I was just sitting here thinking about how blessed and lucky I am to have a dad that is active alive and well and has actual wisdom to bestow upon me. I was just thinking about like all of the things that I have going on in my life and the things that have transpired over the last year that have really like been pivotal growing moments in my life. Last year, I went through a breakup and it was definitely not something I saw coming or either of us saw coming or either of us had planned. It just was kind of what was best for us in the moment. And I cannot tell y'all, how I would not have made it without my family like without my whole village just th through that and other personal things I've been having going on yeah I'm just really grateful for the family that I have and the support system that I have and I think something I saw on TikTok a while ago really brought into perspective of how I need to just be grateful for the simple things that I have and thank God for them every day. It, I think it was a saying that said, if you woke up today with the things that you thanked God for yesterday, what would you have? I think that was the saying, right? If you woke up tomorrow with the things that you thank God for today, what would you have? Basically, would you wake up with anything? Did you thank God for anything today? And that kind of stuck with me because I think we take a lot of things for granted that hell even we once wished for and then we have it and then it just be kind of becomes part of our daily routine so that's just food for thought so i've just been in a very grateful head space and it ebbs and flows for me sometimes i be in my entitled spoiled brat era and god be like i i know he be like girl calm down because i'd be like i should have this and i want to be this and i yada yada and there's nothing wrong with wanting things but the sense of entitlement is just kind of something I'm trying to shake and something that I think everything that I've kind of been through has has taught me and shown me no matter what regardless what what's meant to be will be and whatever God has for me I can't do anything to change that like he knows exactly what I'm going to do exactly what choice I'm going to make so I don't have to overthink every little step I can seek wisdom and I can pray about it and then I can move accordingly because at the end of the day there's nothing that I me or you can do that will change what God has set aside for you like nobody else can take it it's yours no matter how long you take to get to it it's yours so Anywho, I was going to do some like skincare, like some in-depth skincare, like a whole face mask and stuff. I just don't feel like it, y'all. I want to be an ugly booger wolf in my bed in peace and cricket my little crusty, unpedicured feet together and go to bed. <laughs> We're going to do some going up, hopefully. I don't know if it's going to be in this vlog or the next vlog. I think this vlog is probably going to end before we start the weekend shenanigans. So this is probably going to be like a regular little day in the life days in the life spend some days with me i don't know what we're gonna call it but it's gonna be one of them like good old-fashioned 
regular regular schmegular vlogs and then we'll get to the festivities and all that of us going out of town this weekend so anywho i'll talk to you guys tomorrow hey y'all i just wanted to come back on here and end the vlog i didn't really talk to you guys yesterday me and the girls ended up going to the nail salon after work and school and kind of getting easter ready when you guys are seeing this it will be the week the weekend of easter I'm about to actually start another vlog we're gonna go on a little road trip and go see some family go out of town for easter so i'm gonna take you guys with us for that but i wanted to go ahead and actually end this vlog and not just leave y'all hanging me and the girls had a little bit of mommy daughter time yesterday it was so cute and they were really excited it's been a while since i've taken them with me to get their nails done and stuff so yeah that was really fun um i ended up just getting like a little i don't know if y'all be able to see it a little like french with a chrome overlay just to switch it up from like the basic fringe that I've been stuck on. But yeah, I got my toes white. Nothing crazy, y'all. I thought I was going to go in and get like a color, like bright pink. But I know me. I'm going to get sick of that real quick. I have some errands I have to run. We're supposed to be leaving in the next like hour or so. So I really need to go to Target and get some last minute things. Me and the girls need like toothbrushes. Well, I don't need a toothbrush. They need toothbrushes. We need body wash. Just little stuff like that. You already know how it goes when you're going out of town. I also really need to grab them some snacks. I need coffee really bad, y'all. I was up till like 3 a.m. editing last night. So I'm a complete zombie right now. I'm starting to pack our stuff up on the bed, if y'all can see. So I wanted to go ahead and just wrap up this vlog so I can get started on the next one. I'm so happy that I'm not driving because I'm exhausted. But yeah, y'all, I love you so much. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I enjoy spending the week with y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoy like the just regular mom content. Y'all have to let me know. Also, I know I'm shaking a lot, but I'm not on my tripod right now. I just grabbed y'all real quick so we can talk. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys just enjoyed the regular mom content because I don't really be doing a lot of stuff during the week all the time for the weekly vlogs to just be hitting, hitting on something. So yeah, if y'all like that, then we'll just kind of pick you guys up more during the week during like regular things. But yeah, I love y'all so much, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.